Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Um, I thought I'd share with you um, one of my air rifle targets, swing targets that I've made. Um, this is basically how to skip find. Um, this is aimed at people that are into air gun shooting that maybe have access to a few power tools and a welder. You will need a welding machine for this, whether it be TIG welding or Manumetalk, MMA, stick welding, whatever. You know, you will need a welder. Anyway, basically what I've got is a load of rebar out of a skip, concrete reinforcement bar. And all I've done is, dead simply, I've bent a length of rebar. Like that. Not quite 45 degrees. I've done two the same length. I think these are approximately um, 12 inches from apex to end. So two feet in total. I've done two of those to form the ends. Three pieces that I think, I can't remember now, I think, let's have a look. They were about 18, yeah, about 18 inches in length. Three pieces. And I've welded three pieces together to form a frame. But prior to doing so, I slid onto there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of 20 mil conduit. I think this is just smaller than 20 mil actually. You know, the electrical conduit, um, which I've later spaced out using cable ties to hold them into position. But obviously, do that prior to welding the whole assembly together, otherwise, you not get them on. Um, onto each one of them conduits, I've then welded um, a 10 millimeter nut. I'll just fold this up and show you. It's a bit fickle in here because I haven't got much room to demonstrate. And this is picking up. And then what I've done then is I've made a series of plates just out of mild steel off a piece of two inch by two inch angle iron. This is just unscrew one quickly to demonstrate. Right, so. That's a large one, so I think this is about two and a half inches by inch and a quarter, something like that. And I've welded a metric nut on a uh, bolt, sorry, on onto the top of it. Just rough, as you can see. There's no, it's never going to win any prizes for prettiness. It doesn't have to be as long as it's on. And the beauty of this is I can swap these out. I can weld a, uh, a bolt onto any shape or anything else that I want to, and screw into that nut. That I've welded onto the piece of conduit. So I'm just screw that back on. Dead simply. I've sprayed them up different colours just for you know just for effect really. Um, and obviously the idea is you shoot at these only with lead pellets. Don't use BB guns or anything like that on anything steel because it ricochets and bounces back at you. Only for soft lead um, pellets you shoot them and they spin around. I've used this quite a lot, it's quite effective especially if you've got a more powerful air rifle. I'll just quickly try and show you this, the lighting like I say is rubbish in this shed so again I apologise for that as you can see and once you've once you've um, had a few shots all you have to do is respray it you know up as you can see I've got overspray all over this thing I've not been like this it's yellow and blue where I've just, I've just blown it in doesn't have to be pretty you know for, for the sort of um, backyard use it's more than adequate and it's heavy duty enough where it will take a lot of punishment if you if you're using something like a I don't know a Virox 77 or a um, day state huntsman a regal or a, like in my case an air arms s410 that sort of thing the, the quite powerful rifles you want a good a good heavy duty swing target and rather than paying 50 60 pounds for one make one if you've got the ability and the resources or you know somebody that has make one um, all I've done is to keep them separated is some heavy duty cable ties in between each segment so again I'll just quickly try and show you dead rough and ready doesn't have to be pretty but it is robust and strong that's one version of my swing target the second one that I made is this little fella, which for this one you don't need a welding machine. 
all I've done here is I've got a piece of piece of wood and onto which I've screwed two let me balance this up here a minute I've screwed two move that out of excuse me a minute oh. I've got two angle brackets that I've screwed to that piece of wood and through the top of which I've drilled a hole and put a piece of bar basically through with one 45 degree bend at one end a cotter pin and a washer that I've drilled through on the other end like so and then I've just simply wrapped wire around that bar I've not even uh, spaced these out with cable ties it doesn't matter and then obviously made that bit of wire you know it's like this is wire off an old armoured cable but you can use anything, coatangs, anything that, that will bend easily and then made some simple plates that I've drilled through and sprayed different colours, different shapes I think I actually made these out of a pair of old um, gate hinges so you know nothing fancy just scrap gate hinges sprayed them up and these are great fun to shoot at especially with something that is of less power because obviously they don't swing as well and but they do move about quite nicely you know they're, they're good fun to shoot at save yourself a few quid and you can just respray them when they've been absolutely beat to death and again you're going to save yourself 40 50 pounds for a good heavy duty swing target so again this is for all you air gunners out there again this one doesn't require a welding machine just um, a few bits of scrap really and time and patience to mess about with it so thought I'd share that one with you thank you very much for watching as always hope you find it useful maybe helpful mad dog signing off yeah